Two years ago, I decided I wanted to capture the lilac fragrance from flowers blooming in the backyard. So I gathered up a bunch of lilac flowers and painstakingly cut each one from the stem to get as many as I could into a one liter round bottom flask. Steam distillation was the goal, and so that's what I did. I ended up with one flask full of water that had a nasty, decaying plant-like stench, and another flask full of cooked flowers that smelled even worse. After this failure, I decided to do the research that I should have done beforehand. This spring, I had the windows open and could smell the lilac bush in full bloom. It was finally time to try again. I did more research and then ventured out to the backyard to trim off a few bunches of flowers. The bees weren't too happy about that, so I didn't get all that many. Back in the safety of the lab, I got six small glass jars and the flowers together. The plan is to attempt an infusion of the fragrance into unscented base oils and into rubbing alcohol to make a tincture. The fragrance compounds in lilac aren't stable even with moderate heating, so room temperature is best for a successful extraction. And the extraction solvents are going to be grapeseed oil and safflower oil. Then I'm going to try and use up this bottle of avocado oil that I have with a broken cap. And then also some 70% ethyl alcohol. I started by removing the clusters of flowers from the stems but there's still an awful lot of green. I quickly remembered that the only way to do this properly was to get a pair of scissors and a comfortable chair. Once I got them, I spent the better part of the next hour and a half trimming flowers. It was fun. Lots of fun. And here we go. Shortly after I started trimming, a thunderstorm blew up. Right before it started raining, I ran outside and got a whole bunch more bunches of flowers. By then, all the bees had sought shelter. The next step was to more or less evenly distribute the flowers between four of these little jars. In hindsight, I was probably a few days late for the best chance at extracting the best fragrance. I did this on a Saturday, but on the previous Wednesday is when the whole backyard was filled with the luscious fragrance of lilac. I should have dropped everything right then and there and started filming this video. It rained pretty much all day that Thursday and Friday, washing away the best fragrance molecules I could have extracted. Not all hope is lost though, because these flowers still smell great. Once again, here are the four solvents I'm going to try. Each jar has roughly 20 grams of flowers in there, and the plan is to fill them with oil, then macerate the flower petals with the popsicle sticks. That should help release any fragrances from within the petals themselves. I chose grapeseed oil and safflower oil because, well, I had them in stock, but they don't have a smell of their own. I'm also trying avocado oil. It doesn't have much of a smell either, and because the cap is busted, I just want to use it up. Then finally, I've got some ethyl rubbing alcohol. My hope is that I can make a scented tincture. I had a few flowers left over, so I did about a half batch with almond oil just to use up the flowers after all the work I did to cut them. I have no real plans for any of these concoctions, but I want to see if it can be done. I've seen other videos where jojoba oil is used with success, and I saw another video still that said you had to heat the oil and flowers. A lot of comments on that video were negative, and I can imagine why. My research indicates that the fragrance molecules, particular to lilac, break down with even the slightest heating, so cooking lilacs in oil is just going to give you roasted lilacs. Well, I guess technically fried lilacs. I did see a recipe for that. Maybe I'll try it next year. Speaking of recipes, I reserve this last little bunch for something special. After I knock out all the bugs, that is. I'm going to leave the big stems on, so this will go a bit easier. Once I get it cut up, I'm going to make myself a little taste treat. Lilac water. Lilac flowers are edible, and I found several recipes for how to fry them, or put them in other dishes, or use them as garnish on salads, or whatever. The lilac water seemed easy enough, so I'll give it a try. I'll keep it in the fridge overnight, and we'll see how it goes in the morning. I was unable to film yesterday, so 
These have actually been in the fridge for about 48 hours now. And uh, the ones on the top that weren't covered in water are looking a little gross. Well, some of the ones under the water are too. But um, let's try it. Smell bad. It definitely smells like flowers. Here it goes. Oh wow. Wow. That tastes like you're drinking a lilac bush. That's quite good. I'm, um, I'm a little surprised. While we're at it, since, uh, Finding a good one that's not all brown. It's supposed to be edible. Hmm. Pardon me. It tastes like a flower. But it feels like you're eating a flower. So on its own, I just don't want to eat it. Um, but I could imagine like if there was a salad or something and this was a garnish on there, it wouldn't be bad. Um, I have had immature pine needles that way in a salad and that was actually quite good. And I think this would be somewhere along those lines, but on its own it's just like, I'll drink the water instead. That's really good. Lilac water is said to be relaxing. I was napping within an hour. Okay, here we are with the other samples about a week later. I heard mixed reports anywhere from overnight to three days to a week. I would say that I carefully planned which time interval to choose, but it was more like when I felt like filming again that made that decision. I'll start with the grapeseed oil infusion. Dump the contents of the jar into the cup through a cheesecloth lined strainer to catch all the solid bits. It takes quite a bit of work to scrape out all of the little flower petals from the jar, but once that's done, squeeze as much oil out of the flowers as possible and see what sort of wonderful smelling thing has been produced. It does look a little bit cloudy, but let's have a sniff. Ugh, that's bad. That's real bad. All of this sediment looking crap can't be good, and that's probably what smells so foul, or at least in part. So the oil infusions are only supposed to go for about three or four days, somewhere in that neighborhood, and I left them for seven. And honestly, it smells pretty horrible. So rather than go through all the trouble like I just did to strain out the, the other four oil samples, or the other three oil samples I should say, uh, I'm just going to sniff them, and if they're bad, I'm just going to throw them out directly instead of filtering them and squeezing out the extra oil and then throwing them out. So first up the avocado oil. You know, it, it's better, but I mean there's bubbles and stuff coming up, so I 
It seems like there may have been some fermentation on all of the, well, at least on those two. This is much better than the, the grape seed oil was, though. Um, how about the safflower? Oof. It's not as unpleasant as the So it's not as bad as the grapeseed oil, but it's not good either. It's um, not good. Try the almond oil. Oh. Avocado uh, had a little extra pressure there too. Still. That's great. That's great. Okay. Almond oil. Now this one's only like half halfway full. And that's much better. Oh, no it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. It smells like lilacs, honey, and rotten. Ugh. That one, I can't, I can't tell if those are just bleached or if that's actual mold. I think it's just bleached. Doesn't look good, doesn't smell good. It's overall not good. While we're at it, let's try the tincture. Ooh, that's on there good. There we go. Now the tincture is supposed to go for about seven days. Woo! It smells like alcohol. It does not smell like lilac. We'll come back to that. to think about that tincture because really it it only smells like alcohol there's not even the slightest hint Ugh. <laughs> yeah no there is a slight hint of rotten So I tried, I'm going to have to sneeze now, oh. I tried the lilac infused oils, left them too long, now they smell rot. Tried the lilac tincture, left it maybe a day or two longer than it should have been, doesn't matter, all it smells like is alcohol. Tried the lilac water. That was good. Nobody else liked it. I had a couple of other people try it and everybody, you know, one person liked it, but it doesn't really matter because he'll eat anything or drink anything. If it's rotten, if it doesn't matter. So that's not, that's not good. The other two people that I had try it, uh, one of them was polite and didn't really say much of anything. And the other one made a face as if uh, she had just drank raw sewage. So, but I thought it was good. I thought it was like drinking a lilac bush at its peak, which may not seem like a good thing, but I thought it was, you know, it was okay. It was good. That I would look forward to. This I would not. So... You know, sometimes natural oils are the best way to go, natural fragrances and stuff like that. But honestly, if you want a lilac fragrance, go synthetic. It's just that simple.
One last thing I'd like to note is that the gross bits here actually seem like an aqueous layer. Now, wet oils tend to go rancid, so this could be a contributing factor to the bad smell. Well, I will try this again next year, and hopefully with what I've learned this year, I might get a little closer to extracting the natural fragrance. But as I said, if I ever wanted to make something lilac scented, like a candle or something like that, I'm going to use a synthetic fragrance. I will be looking forward to some more lilac water though. That was fantastic. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And uh, my gloves are slippery. And I really tighten these. How embarrassing. Oh, jeez. So the oil infusions are supposed to go for about three or four days. Something in that neighborhood. I knew that was going to happen. And again, as soon as I start talking, <laughs> why don't you go away? We'll try this again shortly. Windows are open, so even though the cat's not going, the birds are. I'm obviously sitting on the floor. It kind of smells in here, everybody. Just so you know. So. Better luck next year. Okay. It really stinks. <laughs>